I think we're going to I don't know about doing um, 6.3. I think I'm going to leave Kramer's rule out because people don't you really don't use Kramer's rule. Um, you can work on the problems. You can do the problems by the methods that I've already shown you. But uh, I might just go over it, but I really don't want to because a lot of people think it's too complicated. And like I say, you usually don't use it very much. You usually use elimination and the matrix, one of the two. So 6.3 or 6.5? Six, 6.3. Six, 6.5 is partial fractions, I believe. It says That's 6.3. Well, what's 6 3? Why did I think we covered partial fractions? What's partial fractions? I think it's 6 6. Huh. So 6 5 is what? Maybe it is. So it'll say partial fractions, but Hold on, it's all yeah, it says right here six eight is partial fractions. Okay, six three. Six, six eight. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Six five and six eight is what we're supposed to cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, we skip those. So you should be able to do the problems in 6.5, just you're not going to use Kramer's rule. You're going to use substitution, elimination, or matrix. So we're going to get started today. We're going to use, we're going to start off with a two by two and let you remember what we did the other day. And you can do it by substitution, elimination to check it. But I want you to try to do it by matrices and use elementary row operations. Well, there it is. All right, try that one. Do it by elementary row operations and then check it by elimination or substitution. I'll pause the video while everybody's working. I'll wait until everybody gets it written down. Okay, now what? Divide or not divide, but multiply row one by what? Negative two, add it to row two to give me row two. So row one multiplied by negative two give us a negative two negative four-fifths and negative two-fifths. We're going to add it to two, negative five-fifths and twenty-fifths. That's going to give us zero, negative nine-fifths and eighteen-fifths. Now we got the matrix. It looks like one, two fifths, one fifth, zero, 
negative 9 fifths, neg uh, 18 fifths. And now you need to get a one where that negative nine fifths is. So do that. If you haven't done it yet. So how do I get a one right here? Row two, multiplied by negative five ninths, and that'll give me new row two. Well, zero times negative five ninths is zero. Nine, negative nine fifths times negative five ninths is what? One, Hubert. Thank you, class. And then 18 fifths, the fives cancel, and 18 divided by nine is what? Negative two. Y'all check me. Now, now you're ready to start the next one up there at the top. You got to get a zero where the two fifths is. What are you going to do? Row one, multiply by negative two fifths, add it to row two, to get new row two. I don't have to do it down here. So, row, I'm uh, sorry, row two. Row two multiplied by negative two fifths. And what I'm thinking of. Add it to row one to get me row one. Sorry. So row two divided by negative two fifths will give us zero, negative two fifths, and four fifths. Add it to row one, one, two fifths, and one fifth. And that'll give us one, zero, and five fifths, which is one. So that's our new row one. One, zero, one, zero, one. Negative two. So what is x and y? One comma negative two. All right. Now you can use substitution or elimination to check that. Shouldn't take you too long.
Okay, somebody else got cut off. Somebody turned left up top. Lord have mercy. I don't know who it is. So when you checked it, what'd you come up with? One, negative two. Let's take our handy dandy calculator. Get it off of all the coordinates. <coughs> and y is equal to, well, y is gonna be equal to negative 2x minus 4. Somebody check me. Negative 2x minus 4. And y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 1 fifth. Negative 5 halves x plus one half. Yes. Sorry, I had to redo it in my head. Is that right? Somebody needs to check and make sure I solved the Y correctly. That don't look right. Should be. Oh. No, I got it wrong. Yeah, the bottom one should be <coughs> y is equal, bring it, that'd be a positive 2x, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be, because it would be negative. It'd be negative, but you got to divide by negative, so that would be a positive. Right. And the 4 would be a negative, so maybe that's why I've got it wrong. So that, would, yeah. that looks better. Now, trace second function to calculate. Intersect, enter, enter, and then I'm going to put it about right there. And one, negative two. So we feel good about ourselves. What do you think? All right. Thanks for the interaction. Appreciate all y'all interacting with me. It's always helpful to have a class that talks to you. Y'all suck. Huh? How's the movies? Got any more slam jammas? No more slam jammas. 
I saw the fifth element back a long time ago. Well, why can't they dead gum remake Jaws? Uh, I'll re-release them. Hmm. All right, there's your three by three. Now, before we do a three by three, I want you to try to do it with elimination first. But whatever you eliminate the first time, you have to eliminate the same variable on the second time because you have to eliminate the first and the third, the first and the second. You have to put them together and eliminate the same variable. And once you do that, then you have a two by two. So when you start off, put these two together and then put these two together. You may remember that from another class, I don't know. But since you have three variables, you have to get it down to two by two. So you have to eliminate one of the variables. And you're going to be looking for what? Opposite signs and same coefficients. I don't see really, well, you could get rid of, I would get rid of the Z's. You can get rid of the Z's if you put the second and the third together, and then the second and the first together, and then you multiply by six on one of them, then you can get rid of the Z's. That's what I would do. I'm going to use the second and third, 2x, I meant the third and the second and the third, plus y minus z is equal to 2. And x plus y plus z is equal to 2. That's the second and the third. Now I'm going to use the second and the first because it's got opposite signs. 2x plus y minus z is equal to 2. And 3x plus y, I'm sorry, 3x plus 9y plus 6z is equal to 3. Now, whatever you get rid of on the left, you've got to do that same variable on the right. You've got to get rid of the same variable. You can't get rid of a Z here and get rid of an X here. You have to get rid of the same variable. So the Z's go out because that's I saw the positive. The reason I picked these two was because this is the only two with what? Opposite signs. And when you pick that, then you can pick these two which have opposite signs. You're saving yourself what? Extra work. Now you can get rid of any of the variables you want to. But 
I don't have to do anything and it's easy to go away. So I've got x, sorry, 2x plus y is equal to 2, and x plus y is equal to what? 2. And then over here, I'm sorry, I gotta add them. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Had a brain bubble. Didn't even add them. What's 2x plus 3 plus x? Three x and y plus y is and two plus two is four. Over here, I got to multiply the top by what? I got to multiply the top by positive six. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. When I do that, I get 6 times 2 is 12x plus 6 times 9 is what? I'm sorry. 6 times 1 is 6x, 6 6y minus 6z is equal to what? 12. That goes out. And you get 15x plus what, 15y is equal to 15. Well, what is that mean? Okay, now you got two equations, two unknowns. So I'm gonna just make this smaller and then I'm gonna do the two by two matrix. Yeah, my fire stick, I've done watched all the scary movies, now I'm watching stupid scary movies. The ones that are really cheap made and stupid. I tell you, there's no scary movies at the movies right now that I haven't seen. What? I don't see that. I remember when I was a kid, there used to be a, either it was it or the thing. Okay, it must have been it. And it had a baby carriage and a baby, or what do you call it, a baby basket or a baby carriage or something, and it had these two fingernails come out of it. I think it was called the thing. Huh? Oh. oh, okay. And when I was a kid, there was a there was a uh, commercial of I mean, a trailer for a movie called Magic, and it had a dummy, you know, like a talking dummy. That thing used to scare me to death. I would have not made it when I was a kid. Nobody ever heard of it? Well, y'all don't y'all haven't even seen my cousin Dini, so I asked one class and they never heard of it. I was like, Really? That's one of the classics, huh? Yeah, but I've seen movies before I was born. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. They all two hundred dollars box. You're right. My son is. I'm trying to. Well, my son is. He watches movies that I watch. Either that or he don't watch TV. So. 
what we share. I have to watch SpongeBob, which I like SpongeBob. So no, I like Squidward and Plankton. I don't like I don't like um, Patrick. That's the one that irritates me the most. Y'all have seen SpongeBob, right? So what movie is doing good right now? Logan, Get Out, Maybe the Beast. Is Get Out really scary? I, to me, it seems more like a thriller than a scary movie. Yeah, I don't I try. I try. I try to go by that one real fast when I when I want to see that. Oh, I love Morgan. Oh, that's the funny one. I don't like funny ones. I like Morgan Freeman and Michael Caine. Who's the other guy? He played on. Uh, uh, the movie with Al Pacino and Sylvester Stallone fight each other. Not Al Pacino. Rock, uh, Rock De Niro. Yeah. Something. He played a good part in that movie. He played the old man. He's funny. Alright, so here we go. 15x plus 15y is equal to 15. And 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. Now, which one do you think I'm going to get rid of? The x or the y? Nope. Why am I going to get rid of the x? Because I've only got to multiply by one number. And what is that number? Negative five. So I'm going to take my handy dandy virtual red marker and I'm going to multiply this by negative five. And when I do, I get 15x, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it, plus 15y is equal to 15. And then negative 15x, I'll write it in red, negative 15x. Minus 10y minus 20. Add those two. That goes out. 5y is equal to what? 5? Negative 5, thank you. And y is equal to negative 1. And what am I going to do with that? y is equal to negative 1. I'm going to plug it into this one. Three X plus two times negative one is equal to four. Three X plus, sorry, minus. When I started teaching calculus this morning, my eraser worked. But somewhere about halfway through calculus, they decided to change to a highlighter. So, minus 2 is equal to 4. 3x is equal to what? 6. x is equal to 2. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to back substitute into what? Yes. Uh, which one do you think I'm going to pick? X plus Y plus Z. Exactly. X plus Y plus Z is equal to 2. 2 minus 1 plus Z is equal to 2. And 2 minus 2 plus 1, Z is equal to 1. Y'all check that. Any mistakes? No. 
So on a three-dimensional graph, these three lines cross at one. I'm sorry, that's, that's the last one. X is equal to two. Y is equal to what? Negative one. So two, negative one, and one. So that line cross, those three lines cross right there. So you might have one going this way, one going this way, and one going this way. And they cross right there. Be like coming out like this. All right, now do it with matrix. Elementary row operations. Bring it in on another page. Which one we doing? Is this one? Is that one we're doing? sure you carry your signs. Signs have to be in there too. That's okay. I mean, just make sure you know how to use elimination with with three by three because you never know. It's whichever one you really like to use, but you need to know both. To me, I think el elimination takes too too long. Come back and give me some free tickets. Okay, then I'll just come by and tell them that you're an alcoholic. Now, with a three by three, you may have to go in a different order. Three, nine, six, three, two, one, negative one, and two. Is there anything we can do to make it a little bit easier? What's the coefficient on the third row? So we could put that on top and we already have a one. That'll save us a step.
See, that's one there. You don't have to do that. And there's no law that says I can't put this equation on top. Is there? All right, so then we need to, and I think, I think it goes like this. I think it goes like that, but I may be wrong. Gotcha. But uh, doing what you just said, dude, mm -hmm. wouldn't it be better to leave it as it is because there's a 1Y one and 1Z one and row 2 and row 3, so we already got two of the ones. Yeah, you can do that. It doesn't matter however you do it. Because you still you're gonna do the same kind of work. Yeah, it's pretty much. Now one rule that you want to remember is you always want to get a one. or use a one in the column for zeros. You can't get you can't get zeros without one. I don't Yeah. You need to you always have to have a one in the column that you're trying to get zeros. In the column for zeros. That's all right, but I needed to tell y'all that anyway because you can't get a zero in a column if you don't have a one in the column. So you, that's why I tell students, get that one there first. Now see this one, I can get rid of this three and this two. So row one multiplied by negative three, add it to row two to get new row two. So row one, negative three, negative three, negative three, negative six, three, nine, six, three. That goes out. Six, three, three, negative three. So that's our new row two. So one, 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 two, zero, six, three, negative three. Two, one, negative one, two. Now I'm going to get rid of the two. Row one, multiply by negative two, add it to row three to get new row three. So negative two, negative two, negative two, negative four, two, one, negative one, two. Negative two would be a negative one, negative three, and negative two. So that's going to give me a one, 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 two, zero, six, Three, negative three, zero, negative one, negative three, negative two. Now I'm going to jump up here and get this six to be a one. Because these are not always going to be ones. They're going to have to be something else. They might be something else. And I've got to have a one right here so I can get rid of first and third row, the zeros. So I'm going to erase all this over here. Well, I see why you use all ones now because I can do all the work for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Six, and I'm going to do that here. I'm going to write it in red. So I'm dividing. Negative six. So that's going to be no six. 
That's a six, positive six. It's going to be zero. And that's going to be a one. I'm going to put right here, row two divided by six. And that's going to be one half. And negative one half. Okay, now take your pick. You can get rid of the one up here or get rid of the one down here. Either way, you got to get rid of both of them. So I'm going to take row two. I'm going to put my matrix over here. So row two multiplied by what? Oh, I just have to add row two and row three. So row two plus row three will give me a what? Mu row three. So row two is zero, one, one half, and negative one half. Row three is zero, negative one, negative three, which is negative six halves, Oops. and negative two, which is negative four halves. And that's going to be zero, zero. That'd be what? Uh, that one minus six is negative five halves. And negative six halves, which is three. So now I've got one, 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 two. Zero, one, one half, and negative one half. Zero, zero, negative five halves, and negative three. I think that's a negative five half, I'm sure. Where's negative five halves? Three, where well, you got three? You got four halves and one half. Oh, thank you, I thought it was six halves. Negative five halves. Now what? Can we get into the second row? Well, you can go ahead and get one here by multiplying through by what? Minus. Two fifths. Two fifths. Multiply by two fifths. So let's go ahead and fix that. What do you get? One and one. one, and one. Now at this point, if you were running out of time on a test, what could you do? Run out of time. If you were running out of time on a test and you got to this point, what could you do? Just start seven. You Right here you've got Z is equal to what? One, so you can start back substitute. That's why you need to go. I had it wrong. It's not. If this thing would cooperate with me. It's that one. Oops, that's the one. All right, so now I can get rid of all these ones up here, these ones and this one half. I'm just going to, it doesn't matter which way you work because you got to use whichever column has a one in it. So let's say I want to get rid of this one right here. So I got to multiply row two by what? Negative one, add it to row one, 
to get me row one. So row two is going to be zero, negative two, negative one half, and what? Positive one half. Row one is one, 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 two. And we're going to change that one, and that change this into the two halves, and change this into four halves. So that gives us a what? Okay, that's something wrong. Oh, negative one times one is two. Okay. Why didn't you know that? I think I I just just went off the whole reservation, I believe. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. Row two by negative one. Zero, negative one, negative one half, and positive one half. Oh, what a two thing. Man. Row one is one, one, two halves, and four halves. There we go. What happens to the negative one and the one turns into a zero, and negative one half plus two halves is one half, and one plus four is five halves. So I'm going to erase this to save some time and space. I'm going to erase this first row. And I'm going to put it. One, zero, one half, and five halves. Right now, what? Uh, negative one is second. Take the third row and multiply by what? Negative one half. You get rid of the top. Or get rid of the middle, you're going to do the same for both. So row one, row three, multiplied by negative one half. And we're just going to leave that there. We're going to add it to two separate times. Um, row three, so that's going to be zero, zero, negative one half, negative one half. And let's get rid of row two. And that's going to give us new row two. So row two is zero, one, one half, and negative one half. And that's going to give us a zero, one, zero, and what? Negative one. So right here you got zero, one. I'm going to take out the last two. And we get zero and negative one. Now at this point, we know that x is, I mean, y, z is equal to one, and what? Y is equal to negative one. So now I'm going to erase this last one here. And I'm going to add row two, we modified row three to row what? To row one. That's going to be one, zero, one half, and five halves. And that's going to be one, zero, zero, four halves, which is what? Two. So I erase the top row. And we get zero and two. Somebody tell me on the elimination method, what was our answer? Y is negative one. X minus Z. And that's how you do 
three by three. Notice I didn't do three by three by substitution. You don't want to. Period. Okay, so elimination is elimination in matrix is what you're going to be doing with the three by threes. Well, no. You don't want to do it by the graphing method, that's for sure. Okay. There's a uh, there's almost I think there's two courses called linear algebra, mm -hmm. which is just this. Uh, four twelve, math science four twelve. Just uh, just uh, check off your mm -hmm. that's a four level course. course. That's a you gotta take that at Clemson or wherever you pick one. Yeah. And you, you go through the, this is called the echelon. You go through the identity matrix. You go through all kinds of different matrices. Yeah. Uh, you, you can do everything with this that you do with algebra. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's what it's called, algebra, but you do all your work there. Exactly. All right. That's the matrix already ready for you. Do it by element uh, matrix. Do, uh, do it like we just did. Darn, they already did some of it for you. Three steps already done for you.
I've changed the uh, 12 point or 6.5 homework to where just ignore the directions and do it however however method you want to do it, either by a matrix or by uh, substitution or elimination. You've got some two by twos on there and you've got some three by threes on there. Just ignore the directions, okay? Yep. So you got two you got two uh, two sections of homework basically on substitution, elimination and inverse uh, or uh, matrix. called elementary row operations is what it's called. That's just too long. Then get to roll. Allison's not here. Barnes is here. Bearden is not here. Cherry is here. Clark. Clark. I don't remember seeing Clark. Miss Chris. Driver is here. Fields is here. Fisher. Fox is here. Fuller's here. Harvell is here. Paul. Kemp. Craft, Kunkel is here, Silva is not here, Simmons is here, Strickland is here, Warnick, and Weaver is here. All right, they've done a lot for you on this one. Uh huh. Yeah, there's nothing that says you can't move. Yeah, you can move. Mm -hmm. I don't know what what good that would do, but you still got to get rid of the three and the five, and that'll give you. You still got one right there. You got to get rid of. So you're kind of doing double work, but I don't know. I, don't, I mean, you. You can move, you just can't move parts of it. You have to move the whole thing. All right, so we got one, three. I'm going to leave it that way because that one, zero, and that one, they're all in the right spots. So I'm going to leave them alone. You could get rid of this two right here, and you could have your ones, and you could just get rid of whatever you wanted to, whenever you wanted to. But I'm going to stick with the plan and uh, take row one, multiply by negative one, add it to row two to get new row two. Or new, I'm sorry, add it to row three. To get new row through. So row one be negative one, negative three, negative five, and negative two. And I'm going to add it to one, negative one, negative two, and four. And that's going to give me zero, negative four, negative seven, and what? Two. So one, three, five, two. Zero, one, two, three, zero, negative four, negative seven, and two. Now, how do I, what am I going to use to get rid of that negative four? Uh, 
two, row two, multiply it by positive four, add it to row three to get new row three. Four be zero, four, eight, and twelve. Zero, negative four, negative seven, and two. Gives us zero, zero, one, and fourteen. So that'd be one, three, five, two, zero, one, two, three, zero, zero, one, fourteen. And at this point, you can back substitute. Because you got y is equal to what? You got y is equal to 14. I'm sorry, it's z. Thank you. Now I'm going to get rid of the 2. I'm going to multiply row 3 by what? By negative 2. Row 3. Multiply by negative two, add it to row one. I'm sorry, row two to get new row two. So negative two times row three. Zero, zero, negative two, negative twenty-eight. Add it to row two. Zero, one, two, three. That's going to give you 0, 1, 0, negative 25. So now I've got 1, 3, 5, 2. 0, 1, 0, negative 25. And 0, 0, 1, 14. Now, row two times negative three. Add it to row one to get new row one. Row two, zero, negative three, zero, 75. One, three, five, two. Give us one zero five seventy seven. So that's going to give me one zero five seventy seven zero one zero negative twenty five and zero zero one fourteen. Now I just got to get rid of the 5, so row 3 multiplied by negative 5, add it to row 1 to get new row 1, and that's going to be 0, 0, negative 5, and negative 4, 60, uh, 70, 47. Five times four. Oh, it's a, it's a, that's a negative. It's a, a seven, so it goes seven. Seven. A negative seven. And then row one is one, zero, five, and seventy-seven. And then we get one, zero, zero, seven. So I'm just going to change this. So our three lines cross at seven, negative twenty-five, and fourteen. What do you think? Are you learning something? Yep. All right, now you got two sections of homework to work on. 
6.1 and 6.2, or 5, whatever it is. It's the first one and the second one. And we'll go into uh, partial fractions Tuesday. Y'all have a good weekend. Keep between the ditches. Skype people have a good one.